system. And now we should get a little bit of fluid to flow into, into our system here. Let's see if I can get... All right, so I, I, I filled her up. Open up my valves even more. That's way open. And now I'm gonna just gently open this system. So we're lucky here that we can see that there's still air bubbles trapped in the system. This is not a common setup, but you can see that there's still some bubbles. So, as we condense this video down, there's a few things that we wanted to do. We first opened our flow valve here, so this was totally open. So that's telling us what our flow is. And we've got it wide open, so we're letting that pump flow to get rid of that air into the system. The next thing that we're gonna do is let's take a look inside of here. And you can see that the full flow is returning. You can still see some air bubbles. What we wanna do is let this run for 20 minutes or so until that system is totally free of bubbles that are in it. So I can still see some fluid flow. And there's a couple things that I can, I can use to inspect. Now, you're lucky that we've got these clear hoses, which is not a common setup. Very first thing that we do is we look inside of there, we make sure that this fluid starts to run here. The second thing that we can do then is we can look at this system right here and our flow meter, and if you see that it's totally agitated and it's, it's really, and we can see bubbles inside of it, then we know we still got some fluid flow trapped inside of it. So here's, here's the procedure that we did. We first open the return valve all the way. We shut the flow valve and then we gently opened this. The things that we had was overpressure in there. So that, that we don't want to exceed 15 psi and when I did that I would just shut the inlet pressure down and that way I could let it flow. So now in a few minutes we should see that the air bubble should get out and uh, that's, that's exactly what we're seeing. So we've been going for 10 minutes now and we can still see that on our flow gauge that it's still cloudy. So we're still going to keep on letting it run and uh, we know what's going on. So just a quick overview of how we set up the system. Very first thing that we did is we installed the flow side, which we call the pressure side, which is not really providing pressure, but really providing the flow. And then that fluid flows through the spiral vent, through my flow meter, which I can adjust the flow with this dial right here. So when I first set it up, you can tell that I did not have it on, I didn't get any flow. And you can hear that that flow is causing that meter to exceed its pressure. So I'm going to open this back up to full pressure. A couple things to notice too. As you see this gauge up here shaking, that tells me that there's still some air into the system. So I'm going to open the flow restriction on my flow meter all the way. So it should be all the way open. And then I'm going to just keep running this, open this valve as much as I can. Now they say not to exceed 15, so I'll back down to 15 PSI. So I have flow, full flow that this system can handle at 15 PSI. It's coming in. I shut that valve in the middle so only the fluid comes in, comes through, through the valve, through the system, through all of the pumps the uh, heat exchanger and back into the inlet and then this is the high temperature side and again this is a training kit so we would not see a clear hose but for demonstrations I can still see that I've got air and bubbles in the system. Now this is not uncommon. It's going to take a long time for this air to finally work its way out of the system. So there's a couple of processes that you might be able to do. There's different means that other folks do, but one reason, or one means that you can do is if you come back out to your system and you come up to your coin air vent, which will be on the highest side, the hot side, and you open this up just ever so slightly, you can get this to purge a little bit of air, and I hear it burping some air, and I, I let it burp that air out until I get some fluid to come through it. And it's not going to take a lot of air out, but you know, in the course of 30, 40 minutes, it'll, it'll definitely start helping get some better. We'll come back here in a few minutes, 30 minutes, whatever it takes once we know the system is 
forward first. Okay, so we've been going now 25 minutes, and I hope this picture shows up clearly on the video, but inside the inner wall, there are small, what we would say, micro bubbles. No matter how much I tap, I'm not going to be able to get those bubbles out. And that's going to be fine because what we're going to do now is we're going to start the commissioning process. So this solar thermal collector system is now full. It's got the fluid. Even with these small micro bubbles, we're going to live with that. And the reason why is the spiral vent, which is this vent right here, will eliminate that. Inside there's a small spiral based system that will collect any air bubbles and allow it to escape and purge up top. And then on the top of the solar collector system, there will be a small coin vent.